could be an actual supply you might need for, for homeschooling is paint because it spruces up many things, even though you may think it's not the way you like it. You can make changes with paint. Hey, welcome. Today, this video is going to be a little bit of everything. I wanna show you some school supplies that I purchased and something I purchased to help fix something and also something my high schooler purchased for himself. Hey, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I am a homeschool mom of four boys and I've graduated too. We just finished up our 15th year homeschooling. This school year, I have a sixth grader and a 11th grader. So I just wanna share just some basic supplies. I know some people like to see that, some don't. Share some of my favorites. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you like homeschool content though, I would like to encourage you to subscribe if you have not. If you like this video in any way, give it a thumbs up. That would encourage me so much. So, all right. I am just gonna show you the one thing I got at the dollar store. And then I'm gonna keep moving. I have a big box of something I got over here at Amazon. Some things I got at Walmart some things and also something my high schooler purchased. But this, I walked into the dollar store, tell me, have you, did you purchase anything from the dollar store for school this school year? But I was like, there's a lot of neat little things here. And if my kids were younger again, I would have loved to like, you know, purchase a lot more, but I just didn't need anything. So, but this is one thing I bought. It actually, I have already opened it. I have not used it, but it came like this. So this was one of the pieces. So this would be $1.25 and it was wrapped up in plastic, but I noticed that they come off. So I just thought that was really neat. I was actually, I mean, I thought this would be a great little container for school. I was actually thinking about for a bathroom drawer and then my sixth grader is like, oh, can I have that to organize my Legos? Because they have these clear little containers for another $1.25, but like this would fit in here and you could close it. So I just thought that was really neat. Um, if you need something to organize anything, <laughs> anything small, but definitely for school supplies, especially if you are the one type that want to um, have something individual for each child to take along with them this would be great. So I just wanted to share that with you. And like I said, they had a lot of different things this school year in the Dollar Tree is where I went. Go ahead and see what I purchased at Walmart. Um, and really these I feel like are such basic things, but um, I, I will just show you. Okay, so we bought some Sharpie gel pens and my older boys like these. Really my sixth grader would rather use a pen than a pencil, but I do make him use a pencil for a lot of things. Um, I have Sharpie markers, some highlighters. Let's see. And I went ahead and got some more of these. And I will tell you some, a lot of this stuff, I had my phone and I was like, okay, how much is it on Amazon compared to Walmart? So I was doing a price comparison at the moment. And so if I got it at Walmart, I felt like the price was cheaper there. All right, what else did I get? Oh, I found these. One's already been pulled out, but they were dry erase markers too, but they were the, they're cheaper ones, but they had an eraser on them. And we still use a smaller whiteboard. I have a big one over here. And sometimes it's nice if we are doing something somewhere else that there's just the eraser is already attached. So I do like these. This was something else that I got, and I, I, obviously it's empty and I've already taken them out, but they are the friction pens, and um, they are all right here, actually. And there's another one. There's a dark blue one, and I think that might be in my purse. Now, make sure you know what these are. These are erasable pens, and they are really nice, and I really do like them. I used, have used them a couple years back. I haven't bought any in a while, and the reason was is that the fear of um, it'll disappear if it gets hot. So I'm like, well, I don't want to use that in my, I don't want to like plan and make all these notes and do all these things if it disappears. Now, let me know if you have ever experienced that. Is it true? Does that happen? But I had an idea. I was trying to um, work in my son's Heart of Dakota guide, and I thought, 
that is something I would not care if it disappeared. It's sort of like a daily weekly thing um, that I'm just writing some notes in there and or I could erase it. So I liked either option. <laughs> um, so I'm using it for that. I'm also, I may use it for other things like I was underlining some things for my sixth grader um, to copy. And I would prefer it not to have stayed underlined. So it can either be erased or if it disappears, I'm fine with that. So it was, I just don't wanna use them for things that I want to keep notes about. But if you've not had that problem, let me know because I do like them and I like the way they write. So those are the friction pens and I did find them at Walmart and I felt like at the time it was a better deal, but you know, Amazon, they change prices a lot. So this is something else. I purchased um, the Gorilla Putty. Um, and I really don't absolutely need this right now, but it does hold things on the wall very well. And I will tell you because we used it for our vacation Bible school at church and this stuff worked great. Um, we tried a different kind, but this one, this one worked the best. So I thought it would just be nice just in case. Um, I do have a drawer that I sort of tried to keep organized with paper clips and thumbtacks, putty, scissors. And that was another thing I got was scissors. I feel like, you know, after homeschooling so long, we should have tons of scissors, but they get pulled out and used for different things, especially when you have boys and they disappear. So I purchased two, this one's already been opened. I purchased two and really I was just looking for the one that was the cheapest price. So this one out, is it Frisk? I think is the brand that usually you see in the school department. This was just hanging off a side thing and I'm like, oh, that's like a dollar cheaper. <laughs> so I grabbed two of those. All right. Is that all I got? No, that's not all I got from Walmart. These are insert dividers for like three ring binders. I do like these and I don't even know if I absolute, absolutely need these, but I thought I'd like to keep a set on hand because it, I just really like them because you could actually put paper in them too. Now, this was something else I purchased. Um, it is a notebook divider. I had not seen this before. And instead of buying, you know how you buy the five subject notebooks and they have the dividers in them? Well, this you can actually reuse. Like you stick it in a notebook. Oh, I actually wanna take a look at that and see what that looks like. Okay, here is my table full of supplies that I am sharing with you, but I wanted to show you, okay, notebook dividers. I have not done this yet. Let me know if you use or have purchased these. Are these new? I have no idea. I've never seen them, but so I'm assuming you would take a notebook and you want to divide it. But I'm really thinking like, you know, for even like for IAW, I think you have to write the story and then vocabulary. I know you could write it in the book now, but let's see. Let's see if this will work. Okay, these actually snapped in pretty easily. Once I realized it, I was a little nervous at first, but they went in pretty good. It is a little bit bigger than the notebook, so I'm not sure. Um, I will check with my son to see if it's something he likes. I thought, well, I could return them if I want to, but they are really nice. And I think, oh, well, then I got notebooks. But the notebooks I bought probably earlier in the summer, and I probably have about three more and so six or seven of them and they were in the clearance section so i purchased them early on not knowing how much supplies i would really need and also three ring binders these are just the black ones where you could slide something in them and they were in the clearance section too so i can't promise they were a better deal than new because you know they changed those prices so but i felt like they were a pretty good deal because i'm a little bit familiar with those um and my 11th, well, my 11th grader may not new, use them, but my one that's in school right now, sometimes he has to turn in a black folder for school. So I knew that we would need those in the future. And actually my son needed a black folder because he was playing the piano for something at church and he wanted to put his music in it. So we just like to have some of those around that are empty, that we don't have to unload everything to use it for something else. <laughs> you, I don't know, I'm the only one that's had to do that. Maybe, I don't know, but okay. <laughs> so, um, all right, and glue. This was, I don't know, I feel like it was only two something, like, 
And I feel like we have been looking for glue for certain things. We don't definitely do not use this like we did when the kids were little, but it's nice to have. So, all right, that was my Walmart. Let's go on to, let's go on to Amazon. These two things I got just because I felt like they were a better price and I use these all the time. I'll show you my mom's little bag and post-it notes. Um, really my high schooler likes to use these sometimes too. So we're gonna, I got those because I felt like they were a better price. This was another thing I bought. It's actually a whole pack of the sleeves, um, the clear sleeves for the three ring binders. And I don't even remember how many, but I, I know I was comparing prices and thought it's just a better deal for me to get. I feel like there might be 200 for $9, $9.99. And I have this, I think I already had this because my ones in school that have to have a black notebook have to have all their papers in a sleeve. So that's what I was thinking about more for that. But I will tell you, when we did notebooking when the boys were little, I would use the three ring binders, let them decorate them, and we would put their papers in sleeves. It just kept them in there safer. They didn't rip out as easily. So we have used these a lot throughout the years. One other thing that I got at Amazon, and then I'll show you what my, well, I'll say two things because my son only bought one of them. But, <laughs> it's printer paper <laughs> so this same box was at Walmart for five dollars more I know it's only five dollars but I decided to just to go ahead and order it from Amazon because it was cheaper at the time so and we are about completely out like on our last little bag of it now I used to just purchase printer paper more in individual in the bags themselves i've never i think i bought a box once before but paper is a lot more expensive i mean i was really trying to narrow down the best price um for the most and does anybody else do that make sure they're getting the best deal i have a bad habit of doing that and it has rubbed off on my boys which i'm thankful for um it's not the worst thing, but sometimes you're sitting in the store trying to decide whether you want something, mainly because you want to find the best deal. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, I do wanna show you something that I, I didn't really need, and but I purchased because it was only a dollar and it was actually at the grocery outlet. What it was was maps. They were actually the scratch off maps. I have a world one and I have a US one they were a dollar I'll show you what one looks like I had to like refold it to give it some shape so it would loosen up oh that down okay <laughs> so you would just scratch off the states as you study about them I was also thinking about my son he just traveled quite a bit this summer did like a road trip and he probably doesn't care but I thought oh that would be neat to frame and he could keep track of all the states he's been but I don't know if he'll want that. But I thought either way, it would be neat to have for school because next school year, my sixth going into seventh, we'll start US history for a couple years. But the world map would be fun to even pull out this school year so it's about the same size. And then when you scratch it off, it'll be colored, different colors. So for a dollar, um, I thought that was a pretty neat thing to have. Okay, this is one other thing that I did get from Amazon and I'm gonna share that with you right here. Okay, here in my homeschool space, as most homeschoolers will at least have somewhere, even if they don't have a specific room, is a bookshelf, whether it be this size, a smaller one. And we have had these bookshelves. Is it this one or that one? One of these we've had probably since we were married. And I have this one and another one over there that you probably see in my videos most of the time. That I actually... Um, painted white on the outside but I left the wood color. I was just trying to do something different and it was the same time my husband did some work down here in our lower half of our house. It's like a split foyer and put some wood floors in. I painted the brick on the fireplace, things like that. So that could be 
an actual supply you might need for, for homeschooling is paint because it spruces up many things, even though you may think it's not the way you like it. You can make changes with paint. <laughs> so there's a little hint right there. But I this one of these shelves, and I'm going to show you, has been um, broken for way too long. I don't even know. And then I, I'm hoping we're going to find out because this is one of the supplies that I ordered off of Amazon. I don't even know how I found them, but I was like, these are what I need <laughs> to hold up my shelf. It was a big pack, but I think it was like $6 maybe. So let's see. Um, it's actually just need something to hold the shelf up and let's see if these work. Okay, so if you see, it's wobbly because it's missing one of those, one of those pegs. So let's hopefully that will be missing my missing link. I gotta open this up though and get that on there. Yay! Okay, so a lot of the things I stored down here were just because I needed it to be um, a balancing act. So I may even rearrange this a little bit. I do like heavier weight down on the bottom shelf for the bookshelf and I feel like a lot of it is at top. So I fixed a problem, but now it gives me more to do, but that's okay. Um, I'm just excited. I know, it just takes little things, right? Okay, let me show you what I purchased for, oh, I did get headphones for my son, and actually I was thinking about work. Now he does like weed eating and mowing and stuff outside. He's looking for something that's more heavy duty, so if you have a suggestion, um, please share. But he, he did say, but can I use these for school? <laughs> and I said, sure, because I think I may have got these Amazon Prime. I didn't buy a lot then, but I knew he was looking for some headphones and he's been using these like when he does his IEW or his math. And um, I, I have to say his name a couple times for him to hear me. So I think they're pretty good. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you. Now what he bought, he's been asking prob at least a year, maybe two. And I kept saying, you don't need it until you start your dual credit classes, but he wanted to purchase a laptop. And this is a Lenovo. I think it's the same one that his next brother up purchased for school himself. And they, my two oldest know a lot about that. So I send them the information and say, does this one look good? So he's gonna be taking a computer applications class, just wanting to have his own computer, get used to it, be able, to, I think he'd like to take notes and stuff on it too. So um, he did get this off Amazon. It was not a prime deal. I wanna say he may have been able to save a little bit of money. I feel like there was a small period of time it was like $50 cheaper. But on the other hand, we have um, a tax-free weekend here in Tennessee and that is when he purchased it. So, I mean, it probably saved him quite a bit. So wanted to share that with you because it's funny how what you need changes over the years as your kids get older, right? Some favorite things, I'll try to make this real quick. You need a pencil sharpener. I wanna say we probably have had this one, I don't know, eight years. I'm just guessing, I, I'm going by how long, what grade my son was in for a long time. And not only do we use pencils, but this is another thing that I really like, so I wanted to share it with you. We use colored pencils. And my youngest is more of the artistic, so he does like to draw. My oldest was the same way. He liked to draw, and he used a lot of colored pencils. So definitely a pencil sharpener, and obviously we have all these supplies already, lots of markers. This was actually like a little plant type thing out of the Walmart Garden Center, and my mom gave it to me with plants in it. But I don't have a green thumb, but I really thought this would be great for using for homeschool for pencils and pens. So this was quite a few years ago and this just sits in the center of our table. Now, another thing, and if you watched, have watched my videos at all, you know that we like whiteboards. This is the one my son uses now for anything that we need. This, um, I think I must've bought, I'm probably gonna give it to somebody because it actually has the lines in it. 
but we used the ones with the lines a lot when my boys were little. I know I bought it used because it has the little tag on the back, but, but it's brand new, like it's still in the plastic. So I need to give that to somebody. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video. Um, it's getting long and I have got to start putting some of this stuff away and cleaning up this room. <laughs> um, I will try to find the things that I have purchased from Amazon, even over the years, like even the pencil sharpener, I'll try to link those below. And also I have a favorites video of things I've used in my school and I will link that below and my whole homeschool room, which I really feel like it's not changed much. We do have a piano in here and I don't know if that was in my last video. There was bookshelves and now there's a piano, but I feel like I've put that in some videos. <laughs> In the past so but I would also love for you to join me on my journey as I share throughout the year our curriculum I'll share my curriculum pick videos below and we'll be giving updates on things like that throughout the school year so I do appreciate you watching this and I do hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon